Hi, this is Betty Hurley Dasgupta, and I'm here to talk to you about doing your profile page in Mahara. If you watched the first tutorial, you saw this page where uh, you get to, by going into Moodle, uh, through moodle.esc.edu, and putting in your username and password. As we did before, we're going to click on the ESC Mahara ePortfolio. One thing to note is that at the moment this is the only way that you can get into Mahara. Uh, if you um, log out it will take you to this page. If you time out it may take you somewhere else and you will need to go back into Moodle in order to get back into Mahara. So let's go ahead and click on that link. And um, as in the first tutorial, um, we get to the dashboard page, which is where we'll get, get to each time. Now, I, I mentioned that um, in the first tutorial that this link will get you to your profile page. But before we do that, let me show you how to uh, put in your profile picture. So that would be by clicking on content. And the first thing you get to is the profile information. And uh, you won't have a picture here at, at first, um, but uh, that's what we'll, I will show you. Um, your first name and last name are in there, put in there already by the college. Um, you can put in an introduction of yourself. Um, you probably want to keep that uh, fairly short because uh, you can um, put that information in, in other places as well. And, and this ends up going everywhere. Uh, but the uh, thing that I wanted to show you first, or uh, most Im importantly, is, and let's move back up, uh, your profile pictures. Because it is nice to have a photo connect with your name, rather than what's showing here, which is just a gray image. So, um, you, if you click on profile pictures, also note that you can put in um, more than one picture and then choose one as the default and you see at the bottom here to upload a profile picture. You can click on browse um, to um, search on your computer for an appropriate choice and uh, once you choose that to uh, give it a title and click on upload. If you get a message that the image is too large, which you may because profile pictures have a special um, limit to their size, uh, you um, can either select another image or you may need to um, go into um, a software on your computer in order to uh, reduce the size of the image. Uh, like on the Mac would be iPhoto. But let's assume that all works and you, you get your picture in here and, and um, and have it selected. So let's go back and um, the, the next thing we're, we're going to do is to go right to our profile page so I can show you that because these are probably some of the first things that you want to do as you get into Mahara. So if you click then on your name, now in, in my case I have some things in here. Uh, when you first click you're not going to see a, a lot. You will see groups and if you have joined a group it will show there. Um, there won't be anything listed initially under your pages but these are um, will list your publications. Here's a little bit of profile information. Um, by default your friends will show and um, a wall will show. Um, and then as you see I've, I have some messages to my wall. So in order to add information to your profile page you would click on the top here which says edit this page and you can see that uh, you, you, you then get some things on, on top of your page and some other things added to your page. I'm just going to show you a few things. Um, please uh, go in and, and uh, play around. Um, try some of these others. As you can see there are a good variety of choices. One of the things you may want to do is there's a theme here so you can select a theme right now that is none selected. Uh, one one I often use is called primary school. It gives it a nice blue um, exterior um, outside. So. Um, and as you can see, the theme automatically changes as, as uh, you change it. And um, you can change that um, as you wish. The, the other thing you may want to do is the edit layout. 
Um, there are many choices of uh, columns and sizes of columns for you here. I usually stay with, in this case I have the larger uh, right hand column, um, so but that, that works pretty well, or sometimes I do equal widths. So I'm going to stay with that, um, but uh, certainly look at those choices. I don't recommend some of these larger ones because they make a, a very noisy page. So now we're back to edit content. and. There are a number of items I've already added to my page. One is what's called a, a gallery of, of photos. And oh, you can see the little arrow there. So actually, there's a collection of photos that I've put in there. And uh, you would do that by selecting this. Um, you may want to add a single image. So I can click on that and just show you. So what you do is you click on it. You drag it down into your page. And then what you get is a uh, automatically um, a um, dialog box. So if you want to give a title to your image, you can say that. Um, so I can, if I want to put another Death Valley in there, I can do that. Um, and and then. Uh, you can upload your image here. Now you do have to click here to, to say that you do either have permission to upload it or it is your um, your file or your image. You can click on browse in order to find the image on your computer so you don't have to upload the content ahead or what you see here are actually things that I've already added as content. So I do have an image here which I can select and uh, note also that you can change the width if you want a different width or you can go with the default and so let's see what that looks like and there's the photo now let's say I don't like this or I want to change it the first bar here is to edit it it says to configure but that's to, to edit and I go back to that page the um, second bar, this X, is to delete it. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that and say yes. So an image is certainly something uh, easy to add to your profile page and would be a fun thing to do. A another thing that you may want to add is information from your profile and that you would click on profile up here and you can see there are, are a number of, of choices but uh, the one I have here is the profile information so you can bring that down again and note you, you get all these different choices things to show things not to show I'm not going to uh, fill that in because I already have that but you can see that's pretty easy to do and that gives you this information here. Another thing that people often add is what's called a text box and that would be under general and this is the text box so I again you drag that down and you can say about Death Valley or something like that and then in here I would put something like um, the images below are from my vacation. You can see you can type anything you want in there and you do have pretty much a, what you would expect in terms of a, a regular editor like in um, Word. And save that. And there's my uh, text box. So a text box as you can see is very easy to put in. Images are easy to put in. Um, in terms of external content uh, many people may add a, a video so you can click on this one for um, embed external content. YouTube is extremely easy. Um, you can also uh, put in Google Apps like if you have a Google Calendar you can put that in. We'll talk in another tutorial about uh, publishing um, a journal here um, and as I mentioned under the content you can 
start a resume and then you can publish parts of the resume. But that's enough for now. Um, please go ahead and work on your profile page um, and friend me so I can see it. And uh, I hope you enjoy it. When you're done doing your work in your profile, make sure you click Done on the bottom here. And it takes you back to your dashboard. And then you can go ahead and log out. And I hope you continue to enjoy.